hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today I decided to do a story time video because I kind of wanted to share my story with you guys and how I basically ended up with all these marks on my body and you know just to get it out there because now I'm pretty comfortable with sharing my story and things like that and I know how YouTube is and people come at you like they come hard and um, if you guys have a weak stomach or can't look at things that may be disturbing or disgusting, you might want to go ahead and exit this video now because I'm going to be posting a little bit of pictures of what I went through. So if you want to go ahead and hear my story and see exactly what I have, go ahead and keep watching. So just to make it perfectly clear, um, I have Steven Johnson syndrome. It's a very rare skin condition that um, people can get from either a medication or an infection that's inside the body. Mine came from a, a few medications that I was allergic to and didn't know I was allergic to them. So it kind of happened so fast. It it happened basically from one day to the next without me even noticing anything because the symptoms are flu-like symptoms. I started with a sore throat. I'm thinking that, okay, I probably have strep throat or something like that. That wasn't the case. So just to give you guys a quick background about me, um, I suffer from depression along with anxiety. So, um, the doctor prescribed me medication. Um, I woke up one morning and my lips were very, very swollen and they weren't blistered just, just yet, but they were very, very swollen. I was like, mm, my lips got bigger. I didn't think, I didn't think of it was nothing. I actually thought it was a new scrub that I was using on my lips that probably, you know, I was allergic to it. So I should stop using it. But just because I'm like always paranoid and nervous about trying new stuff and things like that, I called the doctor. She told me to stop taking it. That's what I did. I was noticing that my throat was getting sore and um, I ate that Monday, but it was really, really sore. Like Tuesday morning, I woke up and like everything had gotten worse like from overnight my lips were now bigger than what they were my gums all of this part of my gums when I went to brush my teeth it started chipping off I'm going to be inserting a couple pictures from um, that Monday and then when I woke up Tuesday so you guys can have a clear understanding of what it looked like when I was like, okay, I was feeling excessively tired. My throat was even worse. Like, it had gotten so bad with my sore throat that I couldn't even get water down there. Like, I was struggling. So, when I went to the ER, because I um, have thrombocytopenia, which is like a very low platelet count, it's always low. For me, that's a normal. So when I went to the ER, you know, I took whatever medication I was taking with me. I, I made them perfectly aware, but they were so concerned about my platelets that they looked past the big pictures and that my platelets were low and to follow up with my primary care doctor, which she scheduled the appointment with my primary care doctor for me and to follow up with the hematologist. Okay, fine. They sent me home. Maybe two, three o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep like I was struggling the whole night went back to the ER complaining about the exact same thing still didn't see a doctor at all as far as I got back there was to the little triage room the nurse practitioner saw me oh you got pharyngitis don't you have an appointment with your primary care doctor yes I do go to your primary care doctor and I said all right fine I go to my primary care doctor Wednesday. It must have been like 12 o'clock noon. Guess what? By then, 
my mouth was so blistered and so it had so many blisters it looked like i had herpes of course that's the first thing that people assume oh she must have herpes no boo boo no 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 that's not the case that was not the case for me so i go on my primary care doctor i'm explaining to her the whole situation all over again because she told me they tested me for strep throat. I had strep throat. So she says, oh, let me give you a shot of amoxicillin. That will help you heal faster. Have you ever taken amoxicillin? No, I've never taken amoxicillin. She was like, have you ever been tested for herpes? Oh, uh, you my primary care doctor and my gynecologist. You should know. Thursday morning was like my body was drained. My body was so weak and so exhausted. I couldn't function. Like, the only thing I could do is sleep. We go to the ER. Of course, they check me. I'm walking in there. Couldn't even put my shoes on because I had blisters on the bottom of my feet. Now, there's a problem when there's blisters on the bottom of the soles of your feet and on the palms of your hand to get me back there. When they saw my lips, like, trying to talk on the low, oh, you should, you, no, you can talk in front of my kids and her, because I don't have nothing. Oh, well, we're going to test you for, basically, A through Z. Well, you go ahead and you do what you need to do. They took blood from me. The blood came back fine. Finally, they were like, oh, we're going to take blood cultures. We'll take the damn blood cultures. Y'all already took 15 tubes of blood from me. They come back, tell me, oh, your blood cultures are coming back that there's something wrong with your liver. Mm, negative. This is where it gets interesting, guys. Really, really interesting. When they kept me in the hospital, the next morning, that was Thursday. The next morning when I woke up, I was covered. All of these marks that I have on my body were all blistered. All of these marks was blisters okay blisters to the point where every time they came to take blood from me and they would take that band-aid off ugh, part of my skin was coming off with that they called in every single doctor from a to z doctor basically i spent a whole week okay this is where those pictures are going to start getting real crazy. I'm going to start inserting pictures of basically my, I'm, I'm not even sure if I should call it a process, but my struggle, because that's exactly what it is. It was a struggle and it was a journey. I'm going to insert those pictures of every single day of what I went through in that hospital. And just dealing with everything and them not knowing what's wrong with me that was the worst part that was the worst part you want to know who told me what i had the dermatologist the dermatologist came in there my husband was there because for some reason these doctors kept saying oh she has herpes are you sure you don't have herpes but they're trying to speak low-key so my husband is no you got something to say, you need to say it in front of me and in front of him. And you keep testing me for the same thing and everything keep coming back negative. The dermatologist came in there. As soon as he looked at me, right on blank. He was like, oh, you have multiforma, blah, 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 blah. Don't talk. Do not talk in doctor terms. Let's talk real life because I don't understand. He goes, oh, you have Steven Johnson syndrome. I said, well, one of the other doctors... She said, I might have that, but she wasn't sure. He says, no. I could tell the way your face looks and the way the marks is on your body. You don't have a severe case of Steven Johnson that your whole entire body is burned, but you have Steven Johnson syndrome. I said, okay. He walked out the room. I turned to my husband because he showed my husband pictures he didn't want to show me the pictures basically <clears throat> i'm blessed to be alive
because most people that get this they have to get put in an induced coma because the burns are about 90 percent of their body i don't have that i have scars that yeah i had to learn how to deal with i almost died in the hospital because i had became sepsis because the doctors didn't do what they needed to do my my marks here like this because they waited so long to do a blood transfusion i'm not blaming the doctors but basically i'm just letting you guys know and trust me i'm gonna keep inserting those pictures so you guys can see the torture behind it you know it took me a long ways to get to where I am today. It took me a lot to just accept me and being able to wear short sleeve shirts and not long sleeve shirts. Um, going outside without makeup on my face. Um, just a lot of different things. And when people get Steven Johnson, Steven Johnson syndrome, it affects your whole entire body. Your hair. I cut my hair because the recovering process, you lose hair. It's not guaranteed that it's going to grow back. You lose your fingernails. You lose your toenails. Right now, I have acrylics. I haven't had acrylics since august so this happened to me in august of 2017 i just put these on last week so it took my nails about six or seven months to heal the top layer of my tongue as you guys can see now all of that top layer was burned it was gone completely burned my lips as you can see, when I put on um, liquid lipsticks, my my lips are very discolored. That's because they were burned. I had gotten to one point in time where I had no lips. They were all burned off completely. They but as you can see here, that part, I'm never going to get that color back to my lips. And... I'm okay with that. My toenails are not fully grown back. It sucks because I can't wear sandals. But I'm alive. I'm here. I'm breathing. I have my two kids. I have my husband who was basically there. Like, if it wasn't for that man, I just don't know what I would have did. I already suffered from depression. So to go through this set me back in a deeper depression because I didn't care how I looked. I was like, oh, I'm not going to leave the house without a long sleeve shirt. I'm not going to leave the house without foundation on my face. Now I'm to the point where I can sit here and I can tell you guys my story. And I'm okay with that. I'm not shedding one tear. Yeah, it, it makes me sad when I look at those pictures, but not sad to that point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to die. I don't want to live here. Nope. Because there's people out there with worse problems and probably been through worse things than what I went through. But I wouldn't wish this on nobody. That is basically the end of this story time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because for me, this was therapeutic. Because I can get it out there and I'm okay with it now but i want you guys to share this video and don't share it just because you know it's on my channel share it for educational purposes let people know that they're not the only one out there that has stephen johnson syndrome because they're survivors and i'm one of those yes that's my bra i'm not taking anybody off that's that's yeah anyways i'm one of those survivors that survived it so like this video give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye